What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for the third time, actually. This is the third time I've had to do this introduction because Hunter has had a diary problem this morning. And it's the third time I've had to say that. And so if I take him out during the stream, I apologize, but he might have to go. Anyway, I just took him out. And now we should be good to go. This is a divine visitation list that we're going to be playing in standard today, courtesy of Reeves318. And uh, <clears throat> Dex looks pretty sweet. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Someone mentioned Legion War Boss. And they said they like attacking with five fives, and then I was like, but you can only attack with a four four because this is a replacement effect. Uh, this will turn it into the goblin immediately. Or turn it into an angel immediately, so you shouldn't have any chance to realistically You can never mentor onto it, really. Thank you. But I do like Legion War Boss. The point is I do like Legion War Boss as a card that makes tokens. I don't know if I love Deafening Clarion. Uh, Unease Joker, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Just jumped on to do this, but I gotta go off to work. I know you're worried about this. <laughs> Always worried about subs. Always. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your work. Um, I do like Dawn of Hope. So here's the thing. Immediately looking at the deck, I don't know how Fountain of Renewal and Dawn of Hope are gonna play. Uh, I like Dawn of Hope a lot. But, so the thing is, like, four mana to make one token, and only, like, after you have Divine Visitation out does it really start impacting things. Uh, makes me wonder if you maybe want one fewer. I think two is good. I also don't like Fountain of Renewal, because it feels like the only thing you're comboing with is Dawn of Hope. So it's just, like, a way to draw a card every turn. Fountain of Renewal is actually great, huh? Well, I mean, to be fair, these do cycle, so I'm not sure. But, like... Then you have Heroic Reinforcements, which is, the ideal situation is making two angels. But I'm not sure. Let's 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 play a match first and see how it goes. I don't want to change anything yet because there's a lot of very unique uh, choices in the deck. And I'd like to see how, how they play out. I do like Legion's Landing. I feel like Legion's, Legion's Landing might almost be better than... Uh, fountain because you know the vampire token does have lifelink as well so it is a way to gain life every turn you know presuming they don't kill it but um you know short of that <clears throat> and then you get to flip it and make one ones for three mana which is cheaper than dawn of hope Frogler, what's going on? Ba -do -do, ba -do -do -do. All right, so we do have a fountain here, and that's pretty much it. Two seal aways gives us, and we're also on the draw. This gives us a little bit of time to work with here. So, how how do I uh, how do I sound? How's the mic level? We doing okay on the mics? Because I definitely feel like this deck is trying to be controlling with Fountain of Renewal, Deafening Clarion, Lava Coil, Seal Away, etc. Oh, look at that. We're playing Saffron Olive. <laughs> it's fantastic. Good times. Good times. Oh, of course he's playing Gates. Uh, of course you are. Oh, wow. That's... That was actually a perfect draw. Now, I, I take back everything I said, Dawn of Hope, Fountain of Renewal. Oh, you got it. You got it. I'm actually going to pay two here. I don't, <coughs> <coughs> I don't foresee us doing anything else, so. And land. No land. How many lands are in our deck, just to, be, just to clarify? 25. That should be enough. Well, I guess we'll pass here. <coughs> Unfortunately, when you don't hit their land. We're going deep here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going deep. Binding his thing would be nice. However, also hitting lands would be nice. We're going to draw again. Because all we need is one land.
Two lands in the top 13 cards. That's realistic. <clears throat> By that ratio, uh, you would assume we have eight lands in our deck. I mean, we can't cast anything even if we don't draw something, so let's try to hit a land here, I guess. Well, at least we're good on lands. Another one? Wish I could have used this sooner. <laughs> that would be nice. I got discard two cards? Come on. Always yield to these. I'm uh, not going to draw here. I'd rather just play an Exelon's Binding. Uh, we could play two sealways, but I'd rather get rid of one and make it so they can't cast any future Hydroid Crassuses. Also, if they get this guy back somehow by getting rid of the Ixalan's Binding, it just dies. So that's nice. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> like, there you go. All right. Draw four, go to 11 cards. No, draw none. Okay. Circuitous route, draw two instead. Okay, sure. Draw four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. That's very good. Is there a way to win with gates? Like, there's no, like, maze. Uh, I, almost bit my, I bit my tongue. I don't think it was terrible, but it was not fun. I don't think there's any, like, Maze's End card, right? <clears throat> uh, it's May Tap the Gates with when you when you play them, but, like, when a gate enters the battlefield, you draw a card. It's not a May ability. So. You know, there's two abilities on there, right? Actually, I think we are going to pay two here for one of them. Still didn't hit another land. That's pretty mind-blowing to me, but... I mean, I guess we can just go tapped. Seal this guy away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they can bane fire for eleven. Fountains are pretty nice at preventing the Bane Fire for 11, I guess. Look at the top four cards. Find your Bane Fire. Deals X damage to each creature X number of gates. Sure. Why does it say... Wait, it says seven gates. One, two, three... Four. Oh, these aren't gates. That's why. Okay. They have 23 cards. Saffron has 23 cards left in his library. Come on, Seth. Get it together.
Yeah, this looks like it. Yep. <clears throat> that looked like a 10-10 to me. And it has Vigilance, so you can't even seal it away. That's awkward. That's super awkward. And it has Trample? Come on. Come on, dude. We're trying to play a cool deck, and you respond by also playing a cool deck. Problem is that if he does have Banefire, like we're just dead. And they're also he's also at 31. Does drawing a card do anything here? I don't think so. Oh, this is a sheep, not a goat. Wow. This is a yikes from me, dog. I don't know how to deal with an 11 11. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <clears throat> and now we're stuck with a seal away when we, when we could have gotten rid of the Hydroid Karasis. I was actually uh, not considering the Vigilant Sheep. I guess we'll play this. We should have played Sacred Foundry if we weren't going to use the mana, I guess. But we yeah, get to keep up Seal Away if we want. That is an option. I think we're dead. Oh, God. This feels so weird, dude. One wrong emphasis and you'll get auto modded? What does that mean? Crassus? How should. How's it. How do I. How are you supposed to say it? I'm just going to let you bane fire me. Hundred percent bane fire. And concede with the bane fire on the stack. Yep, cool. Oh boy. Just wondering when his Q considering it literally left like a week ago. Uh probably not for a while, I would imagine. Alright, dead cards. Lava coil's pretty bad. Star of Extinction would have done it. Banefire not terrible. I wonder if Adanto Vanguard's just good enough, right? Like Invoke the Divine seems pretty okay as well. Defting Clairound's bad. <clears throat> Take out one Dawn. We're going to bring in Double Binding. Double Invoke. Triple Vanguard. Quad Vanguards. Yeah, I think that's better. Actually, Star is, it's probably better to bring in Nova than Star. Star is a little expensive. I guess this is fine. You also got the BM with the, the, the Bane Fire for 15 instead of just Bane Firing me for 8. I'll tap every single one of my lands. Let's add a white mana instead. Don't spell pierce me, bro. You didn't. <laughs> I mean, the problem is I know they brought in <clears throat> enchantment removal, which means <clears throat> things like these are probably not long for this world. 
So this is also my problem with Dawn. Like, if you don't have a fountain, the Dawn on turn two is just pretty useless. You don't have any regular ways to gain life, and you're not going to gain life until uh, you start making soldiers for four, so... That was your third... Oh, interesting. You didn't play an extra land. Hmm. Put that on the bottom. Um, So we can scry again. I don't think we're playing Heroic Reinforcements until we play Divine Visitation. So I'm actually just going to activate this again. I'll keep that on top. And now we can play Foundry. And then next turn we can go Visitation into Heroic Reinforcements and Dawn of Hope. And hopefully they just don't have, like, Cleansing Nova. fascinating that seemed incorrect but <clears throat> I mean they likely have another one they'll just go cleansing over just draw enchantments a bit or second night of autumn mm, guild summit's actually significantly better than a night of autumn here for us for us <clears throat> Got him. Are you dead? Okay. Oh, you're not dead because these are four fours now? Sure. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now you're dead. <laughs> oh, every every game in every game of standard decided by Banefire. Um, so we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Banefire for full. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Guess we're just gonna. This is just standard, ladies and gentlemen. If you're if you're not winning by bane fires, what are you even doing with your life? What up, Dragosi and Biggie Tattoos? What's going on, guys? What do we got here? Seal away, invoke. Invoke seems good against them. So does history. We'll keep this hand. We don't have a divine visitation. That's good. So now we can go this into this into this. Probably gonna wait until this is at full full capacity, I guess. So we go this into this into this into this. <clears throat> I mean, we do need a red source before any of that happens, so. If I don't leave for work soon, I'm going to get Bane fired, too. <laughs> oh, that's good times. Yep, Night of Autumn is a good card. So is History of Benalia, though. I don't know if you guys knew that about History of Benalia. I'm going to snap off Destroy any, like... Any, any card draw, like if this is a guild, yeah, if this is a guild somewhere, we're just going to snap off, destroy that. Hope you don't have a guild, you always have a guild.
Yeah, we can definitely play this next turn. Actually, we can play this this turn, can't we? Attack for like a bajillion, right? <clears throat> I just don't want you getting into life, that's all. Mm. So if we attack here, it's an easy trade for them. If we attack next turn, these guys cannot trade easily with the Knight of Autumn. Especially after we heroic reinforcements. If we draw a land, we're just probably going to play Lyra, but... So they have five cards, we have four cards. Seems fine. Oh, you got a little five? You got a little five, five? Okay. Okay. Wow, one more land. One more land is where we want to be. So we can play Heroic. They block one, they take five, ten, eleven, twelve. We don't really have much of an alternative here. We don't have a fifth land, which either of these have been significantly better plays. This isn't great on here, especially because if they play another Knight of Autumn, they can destroy this, get their Knight of Autumn back, and then destroy something else. Hmm. Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy work. It's actually awkward. Like, this one card is pretty awkward. I really don't want to waste this. My problem is that if we Heroic, we don't have actually any way to trigger Divine Visitation. But if we just play Lyra, we might not even need it. And taking 12 is pretty good. I do worry about this. This is a card. This is a card that I'm like, that's actually crushing us, and it's <sighs> kind of blowing my mind, to be quite honest. Yep, six mana. So a four-four hydroid crest as you draw two. Sure, that's pretty good. I wish I could double block that. That would be that would be my dream. Land. Yes. Yes. We're just going to play a Lyra here. Um, <clears throat> Divine Visitation doesn't do much in this hand. We also can't invoke. And if they attack, we're okay with blocking. I mean, I hope they don't have an answer for Lyra, but they might. Do they have an Invoke the Divine? Eh, Guild Summit. Sure. Not Invoke the Divine. Uh, Ixalan's Binding is what I meant. Sure, go to seven. That's a yikes for me, dog. Trample too, huh? I think we can race it. Binding. Dawn of Hope. So we can actually play Visitation, and the next turn if we hit a land, we can go Dawn of Hope and... Visitation. Or Don Donna Hope Trigger, I guess, is what I'm... Or we can just go Invoke the Divine on the Guild Summit and keep up Seal Away for the Hydroid Crassus. But they already have seven cards, right? So... I actually kind of like that. Going back up to 20 is pretty nice. I don't want to be in, like, Banefire range at any point. Like, if they're going to attack for 6 here, it's pretty rough for us. I don't miss Block Constructed. Block Constructed was always too limiting for me. Like, Block Constructed always felt like the equivalent of playing with some pre-con decks because there's only so many things you can do with two or three sets in a block. 
and you're basically whatever you whatever you determine whatever you decide to do is basically going to be the same as if wizards created precons and you know because it'd be the themes of they'd be decks based on like the themes of that block so you you really you're really restricted to using uh some of the only options that are actually available to you within the block wow this is a nine nine okay I mean, this is comical that this is the one card that's, like, actually giving us a hard time here. I'm really wondering if I should have just blocked it with a Lyra and a Knight when I had the chance. Wow, we're really close. So they go block, block, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can bane fire us for nine. It's pretty bad. We also didn't have a land, so we wouldn't be able to dawn of hope and make a guy this turn if we wanted. To, if we played the visitation last turn. We're two away from Bane firing. It's turn eight. Like, if we hit our land drops, <laughs> we would actually be able to kill them. So I feel like this is kind of a moral victory. I mean, we're really just hoping they don't have their own Bane fire, or else we're just straight dead. Well, we are not going to play any of these cards, so we're just going to play Dawn of Hope here. So if we triple block here, it's 5, we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 if we take one more, 15 if we block here as well, actually. So, I th or actually we can seal away this guy. Yeah, I think we're, o I think we're okay. Also, any future gates are going to come into play tapped. So they can't buff this and add to their their Banefire count at the same time. So so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18. The trample is brutal. Do we have we brought in three Ixalons binding? <laughs> uh, any reason I'm playing standard MTGO instead of arena? Because I don't have arena cards. I have I have MTGO cards, and I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna waste mythic wild cards on things like uh, uh, divine visitation when I don't know if the deck is good right like i'm not gonna like you have so few wild cards that, like i'm not gonna spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars on wild cards and packs um we can't create a blocker cost four um when i can when i'm literally sponsored by goat bots and i get all the cards for free so so they go block block they take five six and if we hit a land we win like if they have bane bane fire we're dead right One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they can nine us. So we're essentially at seven life. If they play a land, we're essentially at six life. Which means if we double block, we take five and we survive. But what does that do, right? Like next turn, it's just worse. 
because then we put them to we put them to six and then we actually we're one we're still one land away from bane firing i'm just gonna take it and if they have bane fire it's whatever if they have bane fire we're dead but if they don't we have a chance of winning next turn so could just also be hydroid crassus draw a million cards so well also cards on mtg are infinitely cheaper as well like i mean i could just buy divine visitation for like two dollars two tickets or whatever and not have to ever use a wild card all right well so round down go to 14 and there's a seven seven that is a big dude but that is not a bane fire Well, well, biscuits. Why does it fly? So we can actually go five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can also quadruple block here, seal away this. Oh, it doesn't seem good at all, though. I guess once we get Divine Visitation down, we're in better shape. But like the problem is they have seven cards in hand, and we have three. Why do they keep two mana up? Why not just play it for one more and draw an extra card and gain extra life? That's fascinating. Thank you. But Kama, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Glad I could catch the crossover up between my two favorite content creators. <laughs> appreciate it. Ixalan's Binding. Yeah, that must be nice. I have to assume that's very nice. That seems like it'd be very, very nice. <laughs> sure. Yep, I don't actually first see a way to win this game, unfortunately. Yeah, we have to block four. Like, we have to triple block here. We can get rid of this guy. Well, yeah, we can make a guy, I guess. Yeah, I feel like if we hit our land drops, uh, this game would actually be significantly different. Watch, we're going to get Spell Pierce because we did this first. Sure. Have it all. What's it like to have it all? All right. Well, yeah. So as you can see, Dawn of Hope is kind of slow. And I don't think Fountain of Renal does enough. I think it's a fine card to sideboard into. But I don't even know if you need it when you have Shivan Lava. Like, you're, you have so many things here uh, that deal with creatures. You have Cleansing Nova, uh, Seal Away, Ixalan's Binding, Settle the Wreckage, Lava Coil, Shivan Fire. Like, there's a lot of things going on here. I would rather... Also, Deafening Clarion is interesting because it does kill your creatures if you don't have Divine Visitation, which you're not always going to have. So... Um, I don't I don't love Deafening Clarion. Maybe in the main deck? I do think Dawn of Hope is good. I just don't think you want to like clutter your hand with them to like play them on turn two and be like, oh, I have nothing. I can't actually activate this card on turn two. What makes... Uh, what about Force? I don't think Settle is super necessary in this format right now. I also don't think you want to just give them a million lands either when they have things like... I mean, especially the last matchup where they have things like Banefire. I mean, I do like the fact that this deck got things like Afterlife... Where's the, uh, what's the guy, Hero? Hero of Pre-Saint 1, huh? Unfortunately, the only gold card we have are Heroic Reinforcements and Deafening Clarion. And half of Deafening Clarion is actually going to take out uh, our hero. And the and the token we make as well, so. Definitely want 4, four Legion War Boss. See, like for history of banalia also seems good because like you can actually just transition you can just be a history of banalia deck that plays divine visitation on the top end uh, i feel like march of the multitudes is a little too expensive for this deck 
Like, at the point you're going to play March of the Multitudes, you just win by March of the Multitudes. Like, that's kind of overkill. You don't really need Divine Visitation when you have March of the, March of the Multitudes. <coughs> I also like Lean and Warleader. So you can play Warleader on four and then play Divine Visitation on five and make two four fours. I think this is actually a pretty integral part of the deck. With knights running around? What does that mean? Oh, with Knight of... Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's great. Same thing with Ixalan's Binding, though. I don't, I don't love that our removal is based on enchantments. I'm going to actually take these out. Because I think Knight of, uh, Knight of Autumn is actually a legit... Uh, this definitely isn't an, I mean, I, you know, I love Angel of Grace, but this isn't an Angel of Grace deck by any means. It just doesn't do anything in this deck. I'm gonna actually grab two more War Leaders. Are Cygnus legal in standard? Can I put a signal in here? I don't think so. But you have no items that I want. I don't imagine these are anything. Zero, 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 0009 sounds good. Let's lock this shit. <laughs> lock it, Tsar. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to go from two to four, but we don't have a way to do that outside of a green deck. Maybe maybe that could be good. I do like four of these guys. These guys are gas. Uh, I probably want a fourth Lava Coil or Justice Strike. I like two Justice Strikes. Justice Strike would actually take care of uh, the sheep. I kind of like that. I almost want like a fourth Divine Visitation just because it's very strong. Token in standard. Quantity, let's even go to zeros. Uh, white or red. Interesting. Goblin gathering is interesting, but like we already had like raise the alarm don't we have raise the alarm or something in standard isn't that like a a card that makes one one tokens god i love i really like captive audience that card is gas sworn companions i i guess that's that might be the best we have uh, I don't like Justice Strike over Lava Coil. I like Lava Coil because it exiles things like Drakes. I mean, I think they're both good. And also, J Lava Coil kills things. Like, if they have three fours, you're not going to be able to kill it. Lava Coil kills that. I don't think they're extreme. I don't, they're not really replay. They're not really interchangeable. They're, they do two different things. The two one? The tithe taker? It's alright. I wish it had afterlife too, but that's probably that's probably fairly greedy. Oh there we go. Goblin Instigator makes two one ones. Oh it makes it a one one, but it's also a it costs two. So I mean it's basically the same thing. Resplendent Angel uh is pretty nice. If you gained five or more life this turn. The problem is we don't have a ton of ways to gain five or more life. We just literally have the 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 cats with lifelink and the Lyra, the, the singleton Lyra. We can use Varix, and then when you kick it, it'll make a 4-4 four, four angel instead of a 4-4 four, four dragon. That seems pretty good. Siege Gang Commander also doesn't seem terrible. Like, just makes three angels, right? That's fascinating. It does the five life, but you have to pay six mana into it, which is not where I want to be, really. I mean, 
if it was a 4-4 four, four and then Lyra could make it a 5-5 five, five with lifelink, I'd be like, okay, that's cool, but I don't know what Ethereal Absolution is. Link link us to that bad boy. Um, I am to Siege Gang is Siege Gang seems pretty interesting here. What happens like rekindling Phoenix and they kill your Phoenix and you just get a 4-4? Four, four, and then you never actually get the uh the Phoenix back, which is kind of funny. Also, Legion's Landing, um, it's not terrible. Oh, is it the black-white card? It's the black-white enchantment. The funny thing about Helm is that I'd rather just have the Lyras. I think we're just going to play Siege Gang. I think we're going to try two Siege Gangs in here. I really wish we had... 25 lands is a lot. We might take out one Banefire. I don't know if, it, if this is the deck that really wants to like be Banefiring you out, but we'll see. All right, where's our old Siege Gang? Let's try two Siege Gangs and probably like one cheaper card. 25 lands is a lot. The problem with Legion's Landing is that I don't actually see us attacking a ton. Legion's Landing might be better than Treasure Map, though, to be quite honest. I feel like it's doing more things that we want to be doing. Also, I mean, it, it, when you have Divine Visitation out, it's literally four mana, or it's one mana for a, an Angel token, which is pretty sweet. Um, all right, let's look at the sideboard because we have a lot of things. I don't think we want a, Don a Danto Vanguard anymore because we actually aggressive dar deck up quite a bit um this is also a lot of let me take out the one seal away and then we have we still have a ton of removal we have two exelons bindings a settle the wreckage a cleansing nova three shiv and fires we can actually probably take a couple of the shit one one shiv and fire out i want to add another probably binding just to deal with like planeswalkers and stuff and we still have one bane fire on the sideboard so we have two bane fires No, you can't. Actually, that would be sick if you can go map into Divine Visitation. We need one more card. Um, I'm actually tempted to add just a fourth Divine Visitation because it's pretty good. The thing is, I want to have cards on board like Leon War Leader or Legion War Boss that are going to make tokens the same turn we play Divine Visitation. Or I want to be able to untap and then like just slam a bunch of dudes with like this or Heroic Reinforcements. Um, because my problem with Dawn of Hope is that like you have to play this on five and then spend another four mana on the following turn. Which is a lot to do. That's a lot to ask for. Um Summary Judgment is interesting. I talked about this card being pretty okay, and Rob was like, but is it just worse than Seal Away? And I'm like, well, you know, Seal Away definitely deals with a larger variety of creatures, but the problem is that, like, you can just Knight of Autumn the Seal Away and get your guy back. I mean, I could see putting, like, one Afterlife guy in here. If we loaded up on Justice Strikes instead of Lava Coils, I could see us playing Hero of the Tides, Hero of, Hero of Precinct, here of the precinct, here of precinct one. <laughs> What's his damn name? Yeah, the afterlife cards are not super great for us. It's kind of limited. Is there a reason we were trying to be super cute with the mind Station? Because White Red Eye goes, uh, yes, because this is actually a critiqued deck from someone. And because, like, I don't know... It's weird to say that because, like, it just basically assumes that, like, oh, well, if there's a better version of a deck, you just play that deck. And I don't think that's true for everyone. People like playing what they want to play. Like, I, w I would rather play Divine Visitation and lose more frequently than playing the Red-White Aggro deck than simply just playing a stock Red-White Aggro deck because it's better. Like, that's just not a philosophy that I subscribe to. Um, I prefer having fun with decks than than just picking up the the than blindly picking up the stock best deck and just playing that ad nauseum because it just happens to be better. Like, 
Um, I have no idea what the last card should be. So I'm getting sad. I almost want like one resplendent angel, just to, just for funsies, just like a, a, a fun of. Yeah, some people aren't spikes. That's literally what it comes down to. Like, I'm actually a spike. I mean, I've top eight pro I've top eight Grand Prix, but like, that doesn't mean like if I'm just dirtling on MTGO, like I'm just gonna sleeve up, you know, digitally sleeve up Crack Clan Ironworks in the queues. Like, that's just not fun to me. So, also, like I said, it is a, it is a deck critique that was commissioned by someone uh, to see if we can make Divine Visitation a little more, a little more uh, realistic, I guess. Oh god, we're playing against 1-800 Laser Face. I just wanted to slam in this queue as soon as I could, because that is a great name. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you know what? This hand seems fine. It's a little slow, but it's okay. I did not comment on the ban. I think the ban was great. Um, so here's the thing. Like, you could have banned a couple of cards. You could have banned Ancient Stirrings. Uh, you could have banned Mox Opal. But the problem with those cards is that you actually neuter a bunch of decks that aren't as problematic, right? So, um, you have cards like Ancient Stirrings. If you neuter, if you ban Ancient Stirrings... Wow, look at this Godless Shrine. That's some great Godless Shrine art. Favorable wins. I am uncomfortable. Yikes. One problem with with Divine Visitation is drawing them in multiples. I wonder if actually you want like something like Tormenting Voice. Yeah, that dude's dead. Oh man, I really want to play that. Biscuits. Well, we're not letting this Thank guy survive, you. so. Frank loves mountains. Wow. Almost a year with the best land in magic. Nope. 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 <sighs> Preach. Is farting to walk faster a favorable wind? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, this is an interesting choice. Wow, makes two twos. That's a thing. So now we actually can just kill Domri here. Which is pretty nice. Uh, and by Domri, I mean Dovin. Otherwise, War Boss would just be like, well, I'll attack this guy and it'll get blocked. Actually, heroic reinforcements. Please, please wish Mike a happy birthday for me. I will actually clip that and send it to him. He's going to be really happy about that. <laughs> He's going to love that one. Killed your Dovin. So next time we can play this and then just Siege Gang, which is like 2-2-4-4-4-4-4-4-4. Two, two, four, 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 four. That seems pretty good. Did we just break the format? That's a good card. I'm a big fan of this card. We're going to have to take a turn off. And it's going to be sad. But I don't think they're going to be able to deal with our Divine Visitation. So We could also Banefire this. It has Afterlife, though. That's obnoxious. Let's just do what the Dex wants to do. Is it just me or is it always Mike's birthday? You know, it's hard to say. I think it's always Mike's birthday. <sighs> oh, that card is gas. I'm a big fan of Pestilent Spirit. Although it's interesting in this deck because I don't imagine you have many spells that need Death Touch. If you know what I'm saying. We're going to untap and make three four fours, And we're going to hope you don't have dep Deputy of Detention. You're going to have to stay after class, mister. It's going to be a land. Oh, lean and war leader. Here we go. <laughs> Goblins? I think you mean angels. 
All right, so based on the fact they have favorite wins and they can make Thopters, we're probably bringing in... Uh... Oof. Well, we're going to double block, and they're going to kill two of them. And then we'll block here as well. They have no cards in hand, so that's good. Hmm. Bold strategy, Cotton. I like this. This is fine. They're going to make two three threes. But, I mean, we have one angel left, and we can also... Wait, what do you have? Oh, you're going to give Death Touch. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, you have no cards. How does that work? I mean, regardless of how good our opponent's deck is, their name is 1-800-LASERFACE, and they're playing cool cards. So really, I have no complaints right now. That's gas! Are you guys ready for this? That token gains haste. Wow, the token itself gains haste. That's pretty cool. So we're going to do this. We're going to attack with everyone, and then we still get to actually shoot something. Oh, this is going to be gas. Oh, man, it would have been so good. We would have been able to attack with three guys, flip Legion's Landing, tap the Legion's Landing as Sacred Foundry to, to shoot the Pestilent Spirit with the Siege Gang. Oh, man. <laughs> that is, yeah, I called and I was like, hey, is this 1-800 laser face? I'd like to have my eyes lasered. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in Invoke. Lava Coil, obviously great against everything we saw there. Banefire can probably come out here. Thank you. Sergeant Fury, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm a big fan of your Howling Commandos. Kind of a binding here. Really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. I think we're good like this. We didn't see a ton, so... Wow, the rich get richer, am I right? I am a big fan of cube drafts as well, my friend. Okay. This is nice because we can Justice Strike and still kill their Thief of Sanity when they play it right now. You ready? You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? Oh yeah. It's dead. It is dead. And we have Lava Coil for like Seraph, which is super nice because it gets to... Uh, Make sure she never comes back. You, get, you don't get the afterlife when I lava coil you because that's how exile works. Oh, if it isn't if it isn't Dovin Bon, the name is Bon, Dovin Bon. Okay, now actually this is decent. So we can go lean and war leader, which is pretty strong, but it doesn't do anything now. Or we can play war boss, and then we get to, to hit Dovin down to one. I think we're just attacking for one here. Because I think getting war leader down here is a little bit stronger, because we still get a hasty guy from uh, war boss next turn. So. All right. Dovin down to one. If you attack, he goes up to three. Play something that I can lava coil.
I cannot lava coil that. <sighs> That's a yikes for me, dog. Wow. Justice strike. One one of two justice strikes. See, we didn't see that first game, so we wanted to save the Lava Coil for the Seraph so that we could kill it uh, without them afterlifing. So that was the reason we used Justice Strike on the Thief instead and saved the Lava Coil. Had I known there was going to be Lyra's in this deck, I probably would have done the, the reverse because I think Lyra is a bigger threat than Seraph. Uh, you cannot finish this with Coil because it has a First Strike. We can play Legion War Boss and flip this. They would block here. We get a bunch of guys. It's a yikes for me, dog. Like they're gonna gain five and they're gonna eat something. Like we just have to come to terms with that. Because if we get the land visitation with like Siege Gang or with Legion War Boss on the board, it's very, very good. So they block here, but the Dovin takes four, so it does die. And we still have to keep five guys on board, the four tokens and the war boss. Yeah, and it was an instant over sorcery, so I was able to use it that turn, which which was not nothing. However, now we have we have buyer's remorse now. Flipperuski. Also, this gives us a fifth land for Divine Visitation, so we're actually not out of the woods just yet. Um, so you're going to block here. It's going to take one, two. I think we go one at face and one at you, so that's still he still dies, but then we get to sneak in a damage. God, do you really need first strike? Do you really need first strike? This is game two. Maybe we just want a third justice strike in the deck because it does deal with things like Lyra. It would also deal with that that sheep in the gate deck in case we come across that guy again. I can see that being being better than the, the, the random resplendent angel for sure. What? Oh my god, no blocks. Oh, this is everything I've ever wanted. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We get to Divine Visitation make two dudes next turn. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious. Like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing There's nothing we could have done to Lyra that would have... That would have made the first strike irrelevant. Like, even if we deal four damage to this, it goes, it goes down to, like, a 5-1 with first strike. Which still kills everything on my board. That's crazy. Wow. We got rewarded. I feel like it's different tokens. Look at, I, I love the, the, the one thing I like about this deck is the unity here. We, we're bringing together all kinds of things. We're bringing together vampires and goblins and cats, and they're all just working together. And we also have goblins and angels. Like, it's just a, it's a real melting pot. This is a magic melting pot of de of decks right here. Uh, put a one on counter and then gain vigilance. Sure, so you're going to attack me for a thousand. The Vigilance is obnoxious because it means we can't really get through as well as we'd like to. They have one card in hand? Alright, that's pretty good for us. This is going to be a land. It's a Legion War Boss. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Don't have a negate. Don't let it be your last card. Oh my god.
It was not a negate. It was not a negate. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Jesus. That's a yikes for me, dog. All right, so... Next turn, though, we get to make two guys here, a guy here. This is three angels. And then we can just drop Siege Gang, which is a million angels. This is just going to die, unfortunately. So I'm wondering, like, they're going to block here for sure. Which makes me wonder if I should just attack with... I think we just attack with the rest, too, because... Because YOLO. My cat's got lifelink. My vampire's got lifelink. You get a lifelink. You get a lifelink. Yep, that's what we assumed you do, which is nice because now we gain four life and you still take five. Uh, but you gain six, so you actually gain one. But now we have a pretty sweet board and you just have a Lyra, which is not nothing. But if you want to attack, like we can make, we're gonna make five angels next turn if this divine visitation sticks. Now I wanna land. It actually wasn't terrible for us. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Like, this is a lot of damage. <sighs> sweet to see this, though. Like, this deck seems sweet. Like, Unbreakable Formation, Ethereal Absolution, Dovin, Seraph. I feel like they're just playing all the... They're like, let me just put all the cool new cards in my deck. Double fate... No. Single favorable wins and a Dovin Bond. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just gonna take seven here. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. We can go CJ and Lava Coil, your blocker. Are you dead? Four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, you're just dead, right? <laughs> this has to kill you. <laughs> this has to be the end. Attack 1-800-LASER-FACE. You can't mentor onto anybody because you suck. Negative 10. Oh boy, this deck is sweet. The sweetest. The sweetest of sweets. I, I actually like the configuration so far. Also, Banefire is a nice little way to deal with Planeswalkers. I'm gonna, I, I, I think I actually like the way this looks right now. I might want another invoke because there are a lot of enchantments and things going around. I don't actually love Cleansing Nova. It seems worse than Settle here. And Binding seems worse than... I'm going to take out one Binding. We'll add one invoke because I'm trying to avoid getting blown out by uh, Night of Autumn. So like we play this, they Night of Autumn, they get their thing back. It's pretty rough. Is the way you pronounce Seraph a meme? Well, how, how do I... Seraph? Is that not correct? Ser is it Seraph? Seraph? I have no idea. Seraph. Seraph? Okay, sure. Yeah, no, I'm just like... Whatever. <laughs> just I just pronounced it wrong. Seraph. I shot the Seraph. Okay. Okay. But I did not shoot the deputy. Oh, that was very loud. <laughs> yeah, that's oh I forgot to lower the volume, that's why. But I, I let's see if it's still as loud. Let me know if it's still as loud. Seraph. Was that as loud? 
Please acknowledge you had lethal last turn. I did. I did have lethal last turn. Yeah, it's because my speaker volume was up. I, I have to like turn it down to halfway when I ever stream whenever whenever I stream. Because otherwise the volume from the computer, like the volume that's comes from the computer, because I don't wear headphones, the volume that comes from the computer is heard by the microphone, so it kind of just amplifies. Uh are those acid? No, these are actually just uh lubricating drops. Because I had LASIK last week. I don't know what acid drops. I don't know if that's LSD drops or actually drops of acid that I would be dropping into my eye. Congrats on the surgery LSD drops. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh no, it didn't come off as snarky. I always like <laughs> it's it's funny when people when people say things like that, I'm always like, am I saying it that that wrong? Wow. Cause it comes it comes across as like, are you joking when you pronounce it like that, you idiot? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm pronouncing it wrong. Hold on, let me check. That's how I that's how I feel about it. And now we're just gonna wait for someone to join our standard queue. I'm actually enjoying this deck. I know history is great, but if it makes angels in this deck, we won't get it till the third chapter. Wait, no, that's not true. Oh, we won't get the third chapter. Um, so here's the thing. If you have a divine visitation out, so you're not getting the third chapter, um, I feel like it's already done its job. You know what I mean? Because you've gotten two four fours out of it. And the alternative is playing something like Goblin Instigator or like, you know, Queen's Queen's Conscripts. Which is like, um, make two one ones for three, right? So, like, as far as three mana cards that make m one or more tokens, like, I feel like it's pretty up there, if that makes sense. Yeah, I could see standard planes be over at Arena. I mean, Saffron Olive's over here, so that's cool. Oh, they named human. I am in the standard queue, not the modern queue, right? Just making sure. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Two, two for two. Greasy Cleric, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Um, So if I block here, you win. The terrorists win. I'll pass. We're more concerned with uh, making our guys into flipping this thing. If you know what I'm saying. I just had to respond to an email real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, still not blocking. We can just take three here. I'm not super upset about that. They also missed a land drop, which is really where you want to be. And they alphaed, which is great because now we get to deal a free thing, get a free gentleman here. 
That seems good. Oh, I see. You're going to be all fancy now. Oh, boy, my banalish marshal. All right, so now we have an extra justice strike, so we should draw one right now. We drew a land. Doesn't really do much for us, unfortunately. That's awkward. We also have uh, no benefit to actually just alphaing here, because then they're just going to eat the war boss. And I definitely think war boss is a little bit uh, better than just getting eaten. Could have also flipped this and played Siege Gang this turn. I mean, at the cost of a war. Ah, actually, because we could have, yeah, 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 we could have attacked with all three. Yeah, that was a pretty bad turn, actually. We messed up. I miscounted because I was like, well, we're not going to need the ramp next turn because we can just play Siege Gang. I actually, oh, that was bad. I'm not, I'm not thrilled with that. Uh, what do they do for employment? Um, Felipe works at Best Buy and Mike works at like a, like a fraud service team company thing. I have no idea. Hmm. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's a lot of damage. Pretty sure we're just chump blocking here. Yeah, this is fine. What does this do? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow. I can't believe we messed up last turn that badly. Like, one of our guys was going to die anyway, so we might as well throw all three in the red zone with L2. And we get to play Siege Gang. That's pretty rough. That's not terrible. We are at five. Interesting. Guys don't talk about stuff with each other. That's true. I think we're dead here. We got triple block things, and then we go to two. Definitely blocking the Judith. Chumping here, and then we'll chump here so that you don't lose anything. So what happens here? We take two, we gain one. Uh, this dies. It's when another creature dies, when a non-token creature dies. So this would die, this would die. We would take three, four, five, but we'd gain one from the lifelink. Hmm. If we do it the other way, Judith lives, which is a little scarier. And we go to one here, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not missing anything, right? Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, sure. Yeah, all right, we'll go to one. I mean, I I guess we go to one? Yeah, we go to three, and then you should shoot, shoot twice. That's fine. I mean, if they can't kill us here... Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Good times. Uh, definitely Clarion seems good here. We can take out the Bane Fire. Take out one war boss, and we'll take out one Legion's Landing. I like Lava Coil too, because it exiles the creatures that need to be exiled. Take out Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope seems pretty slow here. Yeah, this seems like where you want to be. awkward because you know a third land so we'd like to hit a two drop and a third land in the next two turns which is pretty bad meanwhile we have four drop five drop five drop four drop i don't think we can actually keep this hand this is actually much better because now we have three drop four drop and the lands to cast those things i'm okay with this we can also hit a two drop or a 
another three drop in the next two turns. I'm probably just going to keep that. That seems like it's pretty good. What are you guys talking about with Calvocate of Calamity? What's even going on right now? <laughs> what about Calvocate of Calamity? It doesn't exist, Coaster. Coaster? Kester? I don't know how to pronounce that OE. You're throwing me here. Dingus egg. <laughs> not like this bits yeah I'm, I'm fine missing a two drop as long as we get like history history blocks this guy all day yeah this is actually very good nope that's not what we're gonna do <laughs> this guy's very scary looking I feel like this guy looks like he's from a movie, but I can't actually pinpoint the movie. What about Sprout Swarm? Yeah, that's good. I think that could be good. I feel like this Rick's Mad Eye Reveler is not at its best when you're paying two mana for a 2 2 that just loots. But I'm okay with you playing cards when they're not at their best. You have two 2 2s that you that took two cards. I have two two twos that took one card. So I do like sacking this guy to this guy. That's pretty nice. So we're definitely playing war leader here, right? And if we hit another land, we can go divine visitation, which is pretty good. Yep, that was a pretty obvious sacrifice. That's very rude. Like, if we just block both of these, like, you're way behind, right? I mean, I don't care if this doesn't pop, because, like, it's whatever. Um, I guess we'll history again. Oh, I don't I really don't want to, but, like, we still have heroic following divine, which is pretty good. I mean, even as a two-card combo, making two four fours that gets to attack for ten the turn they come into play is pretty strong. And this is why I think History Bounty is just fine, because it doesn't have to synergize completely with Divine Visitation, uh, because what it does on its own is strong enough. Man, a bunch of Human Shamans in this deck, too. Human Shaman, Human Shaman. Ooh, no attacks? Unbelievable. All right, well, I would really like... What I'd really like is a fifth land here. We have 25 lands, so, like, us missing our fifth land. And we have, like, Legion landing as well. I'm tempted to just kill this guy. I'm tempted to Lava Coil this and kill this and then just attack. 
And next turn we can heroic reinforcement. Yeah, let's do that. This is like three Fireblade artists. This is a lot of Fireblade artists. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, we're definitely saving the heroic reinforcement for post divine visitation. Uh oh. Oh, wow. You're going to Conclave Tribune on my Divine Visitation? Jeez, that's rude. Well, now you get to die. Got him. Yeah, I think our new configuration is good. I'm tempted to bring in the other Shiv and Fire just because it's very good. Or we can bring in Invokes because we did see the Conclaves. I'll bring in one Invoke. And also the Four Life is pretty nice. I got one deafening clay around because like honestly we really didn't need it after we had all this nonsense is this just better than like a justice strike i think it is it's just cheaper right <sighs> yeah this is hands keepable kill their first play Play a war boss. Have double white for Leon, Leon and a war leader. Uh, I don't ever want to board out Divine Visitation because it makes 4-4 four, four angels, buddy. Listen. Listen. Listen, Shib. You ever made a 4-4 four, four angel before? It's unbelievable. But no, you're correct. We probably could have boarded it out there. And just won on the merits of our, our creatures that make multiple creatures rather than... I mean, I do think, actually, it's nice to have the Justice Strike because it does kill both Banalish and Judith. But Shaman Fire can also do those things with the kick cost, so. I'm probably just killing this thing on the spot. I made turns in standard. Yeah, that's not good, Phoenix. That's actually... It's actually actively bad. You're you're not you're not you're not a good person. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill everything they play as soon as they play. Wow, another war leader. Well, or another uh yeah another war leader. War bosses and war leaders. I made turds and standard. Okay, well that's we're all very proud of you. Probably playing that instead of War Boss here because I don't want to just throw away token after token. Whereas this into Warlier seems pretty good. I mean, I imagine if they can deal with one Warlier, they can't deal with two Warliers, but what do I know? Oh, I see. This is how you're going to be. Mm, okay. Real mature, buddy. Real mature. All right. Well, it's going to pass here because you got a 3-3. Three, three. Would like to kill that guy. 
We have five mana, so we can cast everything in our deck from Divine Visitation to, to Kicking a Shivan Fire. Your mom makes vintage turds. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's something. It's high quality, high quality chat commentary here, guys. Can you imagine if we just get to un if we just drop divine visitation we just go lean and warlader attack divine visitation that seems good <clears throat> i lost the game on arena where i played a ravager worm off of a domri and i don't know what life is wow that's rough it had double riot and it got to kill something play better tighten up tighten up josh Alright, I don't know what this 4 mana is here, but I'm pretty afraid of it. Okay, I, I mean, we just figured that was what it was going to be. If you attack with both, I'm 100% double blocking this guy. This is a bargain. <laughs> Trading one, one knight for this guy? Sure. This is nice because we can play another one of these, and then next turn we can play double war boss. We could have played Warboss and got a free guy in, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. God, he's so he's so arrogant. Just throwing chat text to something. Your mom makes vintage turrets and Frank says, get better. <laughs> I hope she gets better soon. I hope your mom making vintage turrets. I hope she improves. I hope her, her condition looks up. Good times. Good times. Also, Billy, what's going on, buddy? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm hmm Well, oh, oh, oh. Let's get rid of this idiot. Because they have, they're playing the, the, the split card that lets you uh, discard two cards, so I'm definitely just going to play all the cards that I'm able to play. Oh, all right, that'll do. <laughs> All right. Seems good. Seems good. Okay, so we're like 2-1 with the deck so far, I think. But the only the only deck we lost to is Saffron Olive. Is that right? I'm actually really liking this configuration. I'm almost tempted to take the Dawn of Hopes out. I just don't think they're that great. But they're, maybe they're probably good. Like, it's a nice hedge. Like, you just play it. You can make 4-4s. Four like, you're not always going to play against aggro matches, so... Hmm... I once lost a game where I, in a draft where I played very poorly. Oh, once, huh? Wow. Can you acknowledge that you won? Yes, I won. That is, <laughs> excuse me, please acknowledge that you had lethal. God, I love that that's a meme, too. Yeah, Red Jar knows what's up. I never let it happen again? Was that because you never drafted again? I'm actually tempted to cut the Banefire. It seems like kind of a a weird inclusion, but it is kind of like a nice catch-all. Like, you can just shoot them in the face for a bunch. I also don't hate something like Conclave Tribunal, but... I wish we had something like Stoke the Flames. I really don't because I don't want Stoke the Flames because that card's broken. But I wish we had something like that that we could use our goblins to con to convoke. Because you can do it with, with Conclave Tribunal, but it's not an instant, so like the guy's still going to attack. It's nice to not have to just throw your guys away. God, I don't know. I think I, I think this configuration is good. <laughs> I like that Billy put the command lethal in the front of the in front of the quote. <laughs> Please acknowledge lethal. What's lethal? I don't. <laughs> I don't messed up, man, Billy. You are. I, I, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were actually drunk right now. I want to play one more round with this configuration because I actually really like it and I don't know what to do right now. So I think the war boss is a big addition. I also think uh, Siege Gang was pretty solid because being able to untap into Siege Gang after you Divine Visitation is pretty nuts. Typing on a phone is hard. Hey, buddy, listen, we all do it every single day.
Oh, keeping all day. Unfortunately, I would love to have a, another white source for this, but this has all the makings of a pretty good hand. We can keep it. They're not watching the right PC like it. I, you know, the thing is, like, as, as a software engineer or someone who works at Microsoft at the very least, I just expect you to have a computer, a PC near you at all times because I, I do, basically. Okay, so that's another red source. I don't know if you knew this deck, but... Okay, that's not... So not only is that not a red, not a white source, it is a five mana card. The one thing I don't like is the the redundancy of these. Like if you do draw multiple divine visitations, it's pretty rough. Okay, I see what's going on here. White source, white source, white source, white source, white source. Oh, I see. This is how you're gonna be. All right. Whatever, we still got to play Legion War Boss. It's totally fine. But we do need a white source before these divine visitations start uh, start getting getting brutal here. A steamkin? Well, isn't that cute? You'll get caught up in the main fire. So let's actually just alpha here, except for the war boss, because I don't want to trade a war boss for a Vyashino Pyromancer. And then this game is likely done. That second white source, though. That's a yikes for me, dog. And game two. It's funny because in a way, Divine Visitation is a win-war card, but in another way, it's also a you're gonna you can't possibly win after we play this card. Okay. Oh, they they just go lightning strike your guy during your upkeep. I'll concede. Like we can just make guys with this. Uh, ideally, this turn we're gonna go history and then lava coil the runaway steamkin before it gets out of hand. Uh, might just want like shiv and fire in the deck. Take out dawn of hope again. Dawn of hope keeps coming out, but we also keep facing aggressive decks, so I don't feel terrible about that. I'll bring in a Deafening Clarion for a Bane Fire. All right, hold on. We'll go out in a second. Do I want this? No, we want more lands. I think this hand is actually great. Do I want to kill this guy? Do I want to take... No, I guess I don't have to take anything. I was going to say, do I want to take two to kill this guy? I probably do just want to kill this guy, because we can also get in for one here, and uh, I don't know what their deck has, but I really don't want to waste this turn, because we have both of our next two turns uh, 
what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, accounted for? Wow. Skewer the critics off of a uh, one. Well, yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. This is actually probably better than history here just because we can get in with the token without it dying. So, like, this, the longer this is on board, the more value you're going to accrue, whereas this is always going to be the same amount of value, so. Next turn, we can still attack 4-3 with Legion's Landing, which we could not have done with history. Okay. Okay. We can also Heroic Reinforcements here, which puts us, wow, way ahead, because uh, Legion Warboss will be able to swing without getting, well, he's dead now. Well, we still get to do it anyway and flip legions landing probably just want to play history here though the more creatures to take advantage of heroic reinforcements here the better i wonder if this is a trade they want to make our goblin token for a pyromancer it is I think this I think we're just I think we're just way ahead here. <laughs> Yikes. Lightning striking these one one tokens is not uh I'm not sure that's where you want to be. Don't do it again. Uh have risk faster deal for you? Yes. hundred percent. You will never have cards, my friend. Uh, put this on the bottom. Because this knight's going to get... This knight's going to get haste. That's a yikes for me, dog. What is this, 14,000 damage? And then next turn, both these guys get pumped again. And that's a, that's a good a game. This actually... This deck turned out to be pretty sweet. Hopefully, uh, Reeves, if you're watching, hopefully you like these changes. I, I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I think you have a lot of answers for a lot of things in this format. I think Lava Coil and Justice Strike are great answers for the creatures. You have a lot of like ways to refill the board. If they if you're playing against control, like you have Siege Gangs, you have Lean and War Leaders, Legion War Bosses, Histories. All of these cards are two for ones and great ways to like go wide on the board. Um, Heroic Reinforcement is also a great way to buff your board if you're not divine visitationing uh legions landing i liked a lot the, the mana actually helped and also just being a way another way to attrition out uh like a control deck if you're able to make four fours every single turn or even just make life linkers is pretty nice and also just being able to go like divine visitation into legions landing on the same turn if it's on like turn six is also pretty good so anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Reeves, thank you so much for the opportunity for playing the deck. I hope you I hope you like it. I, I thought it was pretty sweet. And um, if you guys want to get your own decks critiqued, you can definitely check out my information in my Twitch profile below or my or the YouTube description. Either way, depending on where you're watching. If you're on YouTube, you can definitely check out my Twitch page and my, my Patreon page in the links below. And you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. I'll be back. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you next time. I really appreciate it, guys.